Everyone thinks they might know the best Christmas house on the block, but as it turns out this year, neighbors in the city of San Jose are putting together a pretty strong argument. Tonight, ABC 7 News South Bay reporter Lauren Martinez spotted one home that's drawing serious buzz around town and shows why the South Bay doesn't mess around with holiday magic. <laughs> San Jose residents are serious when it comes to making spirits bright. It takes Luis Trejo a week to set up his Christmas lights and displays off Santa Teresa Boulevard. The neighbors and the kids and the grandkids and the family, they enjoy it, so I enjoy it too. When Trejo and his wife got home from shopping on Wednesday night, there was a line of people waiting. That makes me feel very good. It gives me the chills, like, oh my God, they're here for me. So I get up and run and turn everything on so they can enjoy it. This year, Luis Trejo received a Neighborhood Holiday Spirit Award from Knob Hill. It makes me happy that um, all his hard work is, is seen, is uh, appreciated. Kids in the neighborhood appreciated and recognized the effort it takes. I personally think that I would not put in this much work just to take it out like three weeks later. It's good. It's fun to have a neighbor like this. Earlier this week, the Tran family in San Jose started ABC's The Great Christmas Light Fight. They were one of four families competing for $50,000. I post my picture to uh, many Christmas decorations uh, Facebook, uh, and the casting director saw uh, my pictures, and they liked what they seen. Tony Tran and his family didn't win, but just being a finalist was an honor. He starts setting up the weekend before Halloween. It's something about magic, about Christmas and the air and the light that really bring peace to me. I hear kids running around with laughter and, you know, the ooh and the ah. Yeah. That make us really, really, everything we do is worthwhile. In San Jose, Lauren Martinez, ABC 7 News.